So what is meant by the representation of an element? So any element can be represented in the form x, a, z as you see in front of you. Here x stands for the symbol of any element. A which is written at the top is known as the mass number. It is a symbol for mass number. Z written at the bottom is known as this. It is basically the symbol of atomic number of the element. So A and Z are respectively the mass number and atomic number of any element with the symbol X. So now while representing any element, whatever we are writing at the top, that means the mass number of any particular element is basically known as the superscript. And whatever we write at the bottom, that means the atomic number of the element is written in the subscript. The term used for something written at the bottom is known as subscript. The term used for something written at the top is known as a superscript. And while representing any element, we always write the mass number in the superscript and the atomic number in the subscript. Now let us try to understand what these terms A, X and Z stand for. A stands for the atomic it stands for the mass number of the element as we just discussed and it is defined as the total number of protons and neutrons present in the nucleus of an atom that means whatever total number of neutrons and protons are there it's basically known as the mass number it's represented by the symbol a and its formula is a equal to n plus p x stands for the symbol of any element for example, we know that the symbol of oxygen is O and of sodium is Na. So X stands for the symbol of any particular element. Z stands for the number of protons present in the nucleus of an atom or the number of electrons present in a neutral atom. Since we all know that an atom is electrically neutral and the number of protons and electrons are always equal in an atom. Therefore, the formula for Z, which is also known as the atomic number, becomes Z is equal to P equal to E. Now, let us try to understand this by taking the example of the carbon atom. Now, the structure, orbital structure of carbon atom is as you see in front of you, where I have shown this by in the nucleus with the help of beads in the nucleus i have shown neutrons with the yellow beads protons with the blue beads and electrons with red beads in different shells now the carbon atom is always represented as c as you can see c is written in the center a number is written at the top and a number is written at the bottom whatever number we write at the top it's basically known as a superscript and is represented by symbol a whatever we write at the bottom is basically z and it is known as the subscript so the subscript is basically the atomic number and the superscript is basically the mass number and c is the symbol of element carbon so therefore a that is the mass number for carbon is 12 mass number means the number total number of neutrons and protons for carbon is 12 and the atomic number that is z for carbon is 6 that means z is basically nothing but the number of protons and electrons separately and both are equal that is 6 so let us try to see in the structure in the structure also we can clearly see inside the nucleus we have 6 neutrons and 6 protons and around the nucleus in different shells we have one two electrons in the first shell and one two three and four electrons in the second shell so we have total mass which is inside the nucleus is six plus six that is twelve twelve is the mass number for carbon and number of protons which are present inside the nucleus is also six which is the atomic number and the number of electrons present in different shells is also six so from this we come to know that the representation of carbon which says c 12 6 okay so that means that its mass number is 12 and its atomic number is 6